Hey guys, today I'm going to talk to you about a smart home project that I did recently. It involves a smart switch and a bedroom. Let me talk to you about it. So a couple of things that I wanted to achieve with this project. The first thing, I wanted to remove my Sonoff Wi-Fi switch and I wanted to replace it with a two gang Akara switch with neutral. Why I'm using neutral? Because in the UK I actually have a neutral wire and it also expands my Zigbee mesh and gives me some additional functionality compared to the Akara no neutral version that I do have in the garage. First switch, I'm looking to control the ceiling light exactly like I was doing with the Sonoff, but with the second switch, I'm looking to control a lamp that's positioned in this room. Even if you don't have a lamp, you can still use the second button perhaps to control your blinds, to open your blinds or to close them, depending on the current position. So it's quite a flexible setup that you can configure with software. So you can change your mind afterwards, which is also great. First thing to do is to check that your switch has a neutral wire. If you do, then you can follow along with this project. If not, you need to find an alternative switch that will work with no neutral. If you do know of any alternative, remember to comment down in the section down below to help out the community. So once you've established you have a neutral wire, second step is to buy your switch. You can get that from a link. You'll find it in the description down below. It's an affiliate link, so you'll be supporting the channel if you use it. Now that you've got the light switch, you can install it quite simply. The instructions are very, very straightforward. At this point, you need to make a decision. You need to decide which one of the two uh, physical switches is the one that's going to control the ceiling because if you wanted to change that out later you need to obviously disconnect the electricity and rewire your components if you know what you're doing you can wire it up yourself as a DIYer obviously you'll take the electricity off you'll check that the wire everything is dead and you go up and connect it which one's live which one's neutral in your setup then you can just connect it all up however if you do struggle call an electrician and get it installed for you. It should be quite cheap and it should be a quick job for them. And if you've got a few that you're doing in your home, you can just bundle it up and save even more so you avoid like a call out uh, fee for no reason. So now you've got it connected up, you should be able to toggle your one of the two switches and toggle the ceiling light, all good. Now, if you're an Akara home user, you can pair this with the Akara app but I'm using Home Assistant. Most likely if you're a subscriber, you know already what Home Assistant is. If you're brand new to Home Assistant, Home Assistant is an automation platform that you can use for free. It's growing, it's getting better every month. If you wanna get started with that, I always have a link in the description. It's the first thing that you'll find. It's my free Home Assistant course where you can learn about it and figure out if it's right for you. But one of the cool things you can do with Home Assistant is that you can use different brands to talk to each other and basically create automations and control them. In my example, I got the Philips Hue lamp that you can see I'm turning it on via software with the second gang or the one that's not wired in physically. And the way we achieve that is by connecting the Akara switch into Home Assistant by having a Hue bridge and the lamp connected to the Hue bridge connected into Home Assistant and then using something called an automation. So now I'm gonna jump into the screen. I'm gonna show you Home Assistant. I'm gonna show you how you can super quickly add the Akara device into Home Assistant, and then how you can create this quick automation to toggle your lamp. Before I do that, if you're getting value out of this video, remember to like and subscribe to the channel for more smart home projects. In Home Assistant, go to Settings and go to Devices and Services. I'm using ZHA, which is Zigbee Home Automation. It's an integration that you can use to add Zigbee devices into Home Assistant. It's one of the easiest ways to do it. What you do is super straightforward. You can click on, for example, the Devices tab and you have this button over here called Add Device. You click Add Device, it will, you'll get this searching for Zigbee devices. You can do this on your phone which I find quite convenient because you're not gonna have your computer with you when you're pairing and avoid you walking up and down uh, depending on where your device is, especially if it's hardwired in a specific location. So you just go to the device now, hard tap it, hard press it for four to five seconds. It should appear here. And at this stage, you can rename it. 
So I'm gonna show you the one that I added already. So this is how it will look once you've added it in. You can see this is sort of the device name, the default device name, and I've got three controls. So this will be confusing, you should, you'll have two, but I'm gonna show you why and how I got to three now in this moment. So the first switch is the, if I, I'll just tap on it, I renamed it to switch dot uh, Francesca, which is the name of my daughter underscore wall underscore one. So you don't have to rename this entity ID, but if you do, it's easier because then you know which one is which. The second one that I changed is this one over here. Now, if I go to the cogwheel, I'll show you what I did. So this is the original one. It's just a switch. And this is the switch for the ceiling light. So this is the one that's hardwired with, the, with electricity, basically. And I added an icon. So to add an icon, you just tap uh, MVI and then you just you can pick any of the light fixtures, the one that you think looks the best, and you get a little icon over here. So when you add it in a dashboard, it will automatically add it with this little icon. That looks quite good. So once that's also done, you can also change the entity ID. So you can create a light entity ID instead of having a switch entity ID. One is seen as a switch, one is seen as a light, and that makes a difference because services are different. So services that you switch, like turn on, turn off, and toggle are different than light. So just to give you an example, but you don't have to do this step, it's a step that I did in my own smart home project. I would say if you're starting just new with Home Assistant, you probably don't need to do this renaming and anything else if it is confusing you or making it more difficult. So you just stick with the two original ones that you have, just rename and label, maybe the first one was one and the second one was two, so you know which one is which, and then you're all good. I'm gonna show you the automation that I created called Control Francesca's Lamp. So you can click from here and you will jump to the automation automatically, or you can open settings and go to automations and services and then click create automation. So now in here, I'm gonna show you quickly how this works. The trigger is looking for a, a specific switch. This is the switch that I configured. So as soon as someone changes the status of the switch, so someone is actually physically touching the button in the switch, then this automation will trigger. So it will trigger every time someone taps the button. And what it simply is doing is doing a toggle. So a toggle is one of the light services. So I, as I said earlier, depending if it's a light or a switch, you'll have different services. In this example, my Hue lamp, the Hue Go, supports the light integration in Home Assistant. Now, the one that you're going to need to use is the toggle, because the toggle is exactly what a switch does. It, it will, change the state of it every time someone touches it. So if you put turn on, it means that you'll only be able to turn it from off to on, and if it's already on, it will stay on. And the same for off. So if it's on, it will go to off, and if it's off, it will, it will stay off. That's, those are the meanings of turn off and turn on. In this example, you wanna to use toggle, because you always wanna change status every time you tap on it. And really, that's it. You can set up some specific colors and brightness depending on whatever you want. And then you will, you will click on the choose entity and then you will type in your entity name, my example, Hugo, and it's done. So once you get your head around how to create automations in Home Assistant, if you're new, this is how you achieve the project. So I hope you enjoy this project. If you've got examples where you've done something similar, I would love to hear what you've done and how creative you've been with this. If you enjoyed it, remember to like the video and subscribe for more Smart on Projects. If you want to watch my next Smart Home project, you can click it over here. I'll see you in that video. Ciao.